back again. Uh, I had to put this project on hold for a while. It's been kind of a crazy summer. I had a lot of things going on with work and other projects and stuff, but finally back at it again. So uh, today I'm going to be making uh, two parts for the trailer. This is going to be the base of the trailer, uh, which uh, I'll have more videos of that coming in a second. Um, making that, and then I've also got another one running in the mill right now. That's going to be the rear uh, panel of the trailer. That's got the doors and the bumpers and stuff on. Uh, I had to reconfigure the design a little bit. Uh, these wheels that I had there in one of the previous videos, put them together, pressed them in the arbor press, uh, but they didn't really come out straight and the material deformed too much, so that's that really didn't work out the way I wanted. So I actually made a whole new set of wheels, uh, and those are actually just going to get bolted uh, to the frame because they're not going to move. Once this thing is in the case, it's never coming out. So uh, we're just going to change all that stuff. Um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I got all the vices indicated in this vice gang that I dropped in here. Um, I'm going to put these parallels in here, and we're just going to put this between two vices, get that all set to go, and then I'm going to probe off the corner, off the top, and then we're going to start uh, machining this thing. build out now you can kind of see that step down in there just spot up and hold and now it's going to get ready to drill it off Oops. got some chips stuck out here don't want to go down there it's going to mark up that circle Now we should be good to go. I'm just popping over to check on this one right now. And I got a 60 thou end mill that's down in there. Right now it's milling out all of the lights. Uh, clearing the lights up on the top of the trailer. It's getting all of the uh, grooves and stuff in there with the tail lights and then also the cleaning doors. It's coming out pretty nice so far. out there. going to be a little bit of checking yet. A little bit, and then this one will be out of the middle. Alright, so this one turned out great. That's the back of the trailer right there. Now you kind of see the lights. It's a little hard because of the glare in there and all the bill marks, but you see all the lights are in there. Got those handles, license plates in there, all the chicken lights. So now the only thing that we have to do yet is just stand it up in the vise and then mill off uh, these corners right here and get those little uh, radii out of there because obviously the tool is round so we, we can't get a square corner in that. So we're going to have to stand it up in there and then put the bottom holes down in this face down underneath there. And then it should be all set to go. Alright, so here's the back of the trailer. Hit that with some scotch bright to get some of those mill marks out. I'll have to do a little bit more work on that yet. But I'm real happy with the way this thing turned out. That should be ready for a little bit more prep work. 
and then I got the bottom side of that trailer going right now. I was putting all those slots in the bottom. It's going to have a little bit to go, and then when that's finished, uh, we'll pull that out and take a look at it and see how it's going. All right, so that second setup just finished. So you can kind of see all the stuff in here. They got all those grooves milled. Got the midship lights right here. Uh, this is the flat spot where that frame for the uh, spread axles is going to bolt from the other side. We've got all the bolt uh, counter boards in there so that we can screw those pieces in. I got the king pin milled in there. Uh, and this little surface right here, this plate, uh, that's not going to get painted. Probably going to paint all of this under here black. Uh, most likely, and then this is going to be uh, left just bare metal so that uh, if it rubs on that fifth wheel, uh, there's not going to be any paint that's going to come off there. So now we got to take a look at the lights down here and just kind of see how those things finished and then blend it nice, and then it will be all done. So, right now we're doing a very light pass with the 60 thou end wheel. Uh, this is the last one it's got to do and then it'll be ready to pull out and check again so we're just trying to blend those lights um, with the side of the face of the trailer there so that we don't have any uh, marks there with the end mill uh, traveled in and out so when this is done we'll pull it out and take a look all right so you can kind of see in the light there uh, those marks that are in there I think the reason that happened was that uh, when that 60,000 ML came around and it followed the profile of the light uh, that we made with the curve that, that kind of joined the sides together with those lights there as it traveled around, uh, it was actually cutting a little bit farther into the wall than that end mill that just did a pass um, right above here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take maybe a half a grand off with this end mill uh, and cut right down to the bottom of that light there just so that we can blend these in with the rest of it. All right, so we got that end mill running. Hopefully this will be the last pass. I'm hoping that this is gonna blend it, and then uh, at that point, it'll be good to pull out. So that should do it. Didn't take much, it was only a half a thou. Uh, it looks like it's right on the money. You can't even see any uh, marks in there with that end mill travel. So I think we are good to go.